Hello, greetings to all. So my presentation is going to be about the Indian tax laws and the types of taxes which are levied in, uh, on individuals in India. So the Article 265 of the Constitution of India states that no tax shall be levied or collected except by the authority of law. The authority of law, which is the government of India, has the right to collect tax. No other authority uh, has right to collect it as stated in the legislation. Also, according to the ITA Act, which is the Income Tax Act of India, every person whose total income exceeds the max maximum amount not chargeable to tax shall be chargeable to income tax at a rate prescribed by according to the Act. The ITA defines a person uh, on which the tax is le levied is an individual, an HUF, a company, a firm, a local authority and every other artificial juridical person. So what is income according to the Act, ITA Act? Income is money what an individual or a business receives in exchange for a service or good or, a, or even a labor produced which is mostly a, a, a wage or a salary. So what is the eligibility criteria of the tax, payment of tax? Uh, tax in incidence of an individual depends upon his residential status which is defined on the basis of the uh, physical presence in India as per the IT Act. An NRI who, whose income exceeds 15 lakhs and INR and stays for, uh, for 120 days uh, for a calendar year is considered to be legible to pay tax in India according to the law. There are two kinds of taxes, direct and indirect. Direct includes the taxes levied on uh, income earned by the individual or the business uh, entities. And it is of three types, income tax, wealth tax, and interest tax. Uh, income tax is uh, taxes paid by the employees to the federal and state government through a direct deduction from the paycheck, which is the salary. Wealth tax is issued on the uh, uh, total market value of the personal assets and it is also known as capi uh, capital tax or the equity tax which is mostly imposed on the richer sections of the society who have a lot of personal assets. Interest tax is the tax levied upon the uh, banking accounts such as deposits, savings or on loan accounts. Then there comes the indirect tax. Uh, which uh, uh, consists of the central uh, excise, custom duties, sales tax and service tax and it is levied on the sales of the provision of goods and services respectively and the burden to collect and deposit taxes on is on the sellers. GST is the biggest indirect tax as we know and has replaced many indirect taxes in India such as excise duty, VAT, service tax etc. The GSC Act was passed in the Parliament on 2017 after 17 years of uh, discussion. GST is levied on the supply of goods and services. As the full form states, it is a complete and complex uh, uh, tax system levied in various stages from the uh, raw material, manufacturing, warehouse to selling to the end consumers. The tax is levied on the basis of value addition at each safe that is added by the manufacturers and retailers to create a fine product. So this is the end of my presentation. Thank you so much for listening.